increasing temperatures, many people in the basin are heading poolside. But experts say without caution, it's all too easy to lose track of your surroundings. Big Two's Felice Romero had a chance to speak with a swim coach about the dangers of secondary drowning and its telltale signs. Felice? Gian, it's not that uncommon. People at the pool falling in, swallowing large amounts of water in a panic, then thinking they're okay after the incident. But that's not always the case. A drowning incident that starts just like any other. Where somebody um, goes underwater, uh, is rescued, is, is revived, everything is fine at the time. Hours later, taking a turn for the worst. They have water uh, in their windpipe and also kind of going into their lungs. Um, and they begin to be kind of irritable um, and, and have trouble breathing and, and need to immediately go to the hospital. Commonly referred to as secondary drowning, it can occur anywhere from a few hours to two days after a drowning scare. If they feel like they're having trouble breathing and, and they just feel a little bit different than, than what they're used to, um, they need to take them to the hospital immediately just for precautionary to make sure that they're, they're taken care of, ensure that, you know, they're not having any water in their lungs. Kiner says although it's more common in children, that doesn't mean adults are an exception. They're incredible swimmers all the time that have um, heart defects or have just trouble swimming sometimes that it just happens. The best thing to do is always be alert. If the swimmer continues coughing, is lethargic, or even vomiting, don't hesitate taking them to the hospital. And even, you know, some of our swimmers, they'll choke on water a little bit and it kind of stops them a little bit while they're swimming in practice. And um, we have to watch out for that and make sure that they're okay over time as well. So um, it, it can really happen to anybody and it just needs to, you know, be prevented as much as possible by being vigilant and just watching it. According to the Mayo Clinic, young children don't need a large body of water to experience drowning. And it's always best to keep a close eye when around water. Live in the studio, Feliz Romero, Big Two News.